Is it eight or 39? Well, it's 49. Hang on. Let me change this real quick. Titles, crawlers. Come on. 149. Update. And I'll update the other stuff in, uh, as soon as I'm done. Episode 149, which is a prime number, by the way. All right, so two, three, five, and squares of primes. That's how you find out uh, what isn't a prime number. All right, <clears throat> optimal use of marketing budget. And this applies to newer authors, authors that are just getting their uh, first products out, out. And the reason I include covers and stories within the marketing budget is you're developing a product. And part of that development is the marketing. You need to develop a product that has a recipient. And I'm talking as a author who is trying to make money as opposed to I just want to write a passion project. Then that's that's completely different. Don't don't even watch this if you're uh, just writing passion projects and have no interest in, in making any money off your words. But if you do, then it becomes a product. And as a product, involve the marketing team early. Right to market. That's, uh, there's a lot of information out there about that. How do you find the readers and then write a product that the readers want to read? That's uh, your marketing budget. So you write a good story, get it that professionally edited, and that could mean it could be you, but you take the time and make sure it's uh, it flows, it tells the story as you want it to, to be told, and it resonates well with the readers, hitting the tropes that they expect and, and that kind of thing. Then that killer cover that's genre appropriate and different but the same. It's a key point with the covers. Readers need to understand what they're going to get from the cover before they uh, the, before they move on. And then that that blurb, that blurb seals the deal and it makes a sale. So that's all marketing budget kind of stuff. So spend the majority of your money. This is me. Uh, spend the majority of your money. Cut good covers, the the a good story, and then a killer blurb. That's that's sixty percent of the battle. Two thirds of your battle, roughly. And then 25% build your newsletter. So you're like, oh my God, I haven't even done any marketing yet. I haven't done advertising. I had put that sandwich board on and walked around outside saying, buy my book. That's right. 85% of your budget so far has been creating the product and then finding and uh, narrowing in your readership. Embrace that readership. Give them the love because they're going to be paying your salary. So, And they're going to be paying the salary for the next book and the next book and the next book. All of that because you bring them on board. So I am huge, huge fan of, of newsletters. So build your newsletter. Get your people, those fans who might like your book, because then you're only marketing to that group. Hey, newsletter, here's me. Northern Lights are out tonight. Everything's great. Temperatures are warming up. Life is pretty good. Hey, y'all, just us having a conversation. And oh, by the way, next month, uh, my book will come out on this. Hopefully you read the first one, second one, enjoy. There you go. Look at that. Ready-made purchases. And then you start looking at your ad campaign, periodic paid promotions. I launched the first book in a three book series. Well, it's going to be way more books than that. But the first book came out the end of November. Second book came out the end of December. I gauged and looked and said, yeah, there's these are selling well enough that I'll write the third book and we'll keep writing books in the series. So third book comes out next week. First book I made free, paid bunch of paid promotions like free books, uh, uh, e-reader nudes today and and places like that to get those paid promotions spread out throughout the week and get the visibility on that first book free. Second book, uh, reducing to two ninety nine dollars is all. These are thrillers. So, And fourth book is, uh, the third book is, is $4.99, it's full price, but they're all in Kindle Unlimited. So you get that visibility, you get the big uh, uh, rank boost. So Amazon says, hey, people are buying the book. Let me, uh, we'll, we'll help you get some visibility and then make the sales, get the page reads, everything's good. So that's uh, those paid promotions on that first book. And I hadn't done any paid promotions besides doing the uh, the ill-fated uh, BookBub new release, uh, featured new release thing. I did that and that didn't, I think I counted for like eight sales out of, out of that whole thing. So that wasn't really good. <clears throat> but I saved all that money then for this one next week. So paid promotions, ad campaigns have been running ads constantly on that first book, auto ads on books two and three, nothing uh, too extravagant. And then testing what is working. So this I've done some giveaways, and uh, so that includes in my marketing budget for hey, if you're interested in this kind of thriller, here I've got stuff. I've got coffee cups from things. I've got 
uh, Marine Corps fighting knives and things that might be interesting for folks who would read this book. So that's that's it. These are numbers. Uh, these are uh, things you need to think about and budget for as you're building up from uh, four figures to five figures a month and then keep moving forward. And then over the long term, I've got one series where I've spent a hundred times more than what I spent on editing and the cover over advertising, but that's spread out over five years. So that those numbers will change and skew as you get into it. But right now you release a new series. This is how this is how I spend my money and how I budget in order to get the best product I could possibly get for the best readers. I spend I still spend a lot every single day on building my newsletter and adding fans into my uh, into my list because that's that's what under your control and that is where you're going to make the majority of your sales uh, week in, week out, month in, month out. Every time you add somebody, new opportunity to sell them your entire backlist. There you go. All right. Peace, fellow humans.